my author study PowerPoint presentation on Ruel Dahl. I am Taylor Norris. Ruel Dahl was born on September 13, 1916 in Landif, Cardiff, United Kingdom. He died at 74 on November 23, 1990 in Oxford, United Kingdom. He was born to two Norwegian parents, Harold Dahl and Sophie Magdalene Hesselberg. Dahl's older sister Ashley and father died in Dahl's earlier years before he was at the age of 10. Dahl's mother sent him to boarding school in hopes for the best for her only son. She first sent him to St. Peter's before he got kicked out and then to Repton. Dahl enlisted in the Royal Air Force when World War II started. Dahl married Patricia Mill and had five children. After 30 years together, Dahl and Mill divorced. Dahl then married Phyllis B. Crossland, who continues to promote his legacy. Here are some fun facts about Ruald Dahl. Dahl was named after Ruald Amundsen, who was the first Norwegian to t reach the South Pole. He did not know how to type, so he wrote everything. Dahl based many of his characters on people he encountered. Dahl would write for about four hours every single day. Here are some of Dahl's most famous literature works. Matilda, 1988. Matilda is a gifted little girl who escapes her horrible life through reading. Once Matilda starts school, her teacher, Miss Honey, recognizes her gifts and takes her under her wing. Matilda uses her newfound powers to rid Miss Honey of her abusive aunt. Matilda's family runs away from England to flee the law, which eventually leads to her living with Miss Honey. James and the Giant Peach 1961. A boy named James is forced to live with his abusive aunts after his parents pass away. One day, James is given these magic crystals that he spills next to a peach tree. The tree sprouts a giant peach with human-sized insects inside that become his friends. The peach falls off the tree and travels all the way to New York City. In the end, James and the insects live a happy life in New York City. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, 1964 Charlie and his family are very poor, but Charlie hopes to find one of the golden tickets that Willy Wonka has placed inside the candy bars. Finally, on Charlie's fourth candy bar, he finds the golden ticket and goes to the chocolate factory with his grandfather. During the tour of the factory, all of the children misbehave and get kicked out of the factory, except for Charlie. Willy Wonka is so impressed that he gifts the factory to Charlie, and Charlie and his family move in to the factory, escaping poverty. Here are all of Rural Dolls' awards. In 1954 and 1959, he won the Edgar Allan Poe Award and Mystery Writers of America Award. In 1972, he won the New England Roundtable of Children's Librarian Award. In 1973, 1975, and 1978, he won the Surrey School Award. In 1978 as well, he won the Mean Award. In 1979, he won the California Young Reader Medal. In 1980, he won the Mystery Writers of America Award. In 1982, he won the Federation of Children's Award. In 1983, he won the New York Times Outstanding Books Award, Federation of Children's Books Group 
Award, White Bread Award, and World Fantasy Convention Lifetime Achievement Award. In 1984, he won the Doshe Jung and Literature Prize. In 1985, he won the Kurt Masquer Award and Boston Globe slash Horn Book Nonfiction Honor Citation. In 1986, he won the Australian Award and International Board on Books for Young People Awards. In 1988, he won the Federation of Children's Books Group Award. In 1990, he won the Smarties Award. In 1997, he won the Good Book Guide, Best Books of the Past, of the past 20 Years. In 1998, Matilda was voted Nation's Favorite Children's Book in BBC Book One Poll. In 2000, he won the Millennium Children's Book Award and Blue Peter Book Award. Rural Doll's legacy continues to live on through the Rural Doll Museum and Story Center and the brilliant literature that he left behind. Here are my references. Thank you for listening to my PowerPoint presentation.